Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to Jurassic World. My name's Jen, I'll be your guide for the week. Have you been with us before? No? Okay, well I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful time here at the park. Yes. Feel free to ask me anything. I know about the dinosaurs, I know about the attractions at the park where you can eat anything you like and I'll have the answer. Alright then, I've got some things to show you before we start, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is our official website for Jurassic World. Uh, you obviously came through the gates at the beginning of your trip as you Road on the monorail. Did you get the ferry? Yes. It is the best way to travel. Our founder, Mr. Mizrani, does uh, like to use his helicopter, but I think the monorail and the ferry are much more interesting for our guests. I'll show you some of the things that you can do at the park. There's a wide selection of activities. Uh, safety first, of course. We are the number one park in the world for safety. And we've spared no expense, as John Hammond like to say. Uh, we've developed over 150 emergency protocols and safeguards for every dinosaur in the park. Safety is a two-way street. Please do your part. Don't tap on the glass, cross barriers, throw anything into the exhibits. Make excessive noise, tease, or otherwise incite the dinosaurs. That's a given, really. Just be sensible. Herbivores can bite. <laughs> so if you do visit the uh, feeding pens or the nurseries, please do just be aware. And we do have electrified fences for some of the more dangerous dinosaurs, so please do not touch. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you a bit about the background of the park, first of all. Of course, our founder was John Hammond. He created the original Jurassic Park uh, and we have based our creation of this park on his ideas. He pioneered the idea of bringing dinosaurs to life. He was dedicated to giving people an experience that was exciting and new, urging the world to surpass their dreams and unearth an amazing adventure. As you enter the main area of the park just before you get into the creation lab there is a statue that you'll be able to see we've completed his dream really uh, everything he wanted is now in Jurassic World Okay, so I'm sure you're excited to have a look around the park yourselves. It's you and your family, yes? Okay. Uh, let me just try and figure this out. It's all very new to me. <laughs> well, anyway, you came in on the monorail you can see uh, that travels all around the park and you can see all the various dinosaurs and exhibits just by using the monorail um, you also use the ferry
Yes. Uh, now, you'll want to know where you can eat around the island, of course. There are a few different areas where you can get food. Around the main area of the park, of course. There are also restrooms spotted about, so you'll always be able to take care of business there. <laughs> now you'll be staying in the main hotel, is that correct? Yep, yeah, okay. So that is located in the very centre of the island, next to the creation labs, etc. So we've got Main Street. We have things like the gift shops. Uh, we have Mar Margaritaville, where you can get yourself a margarita and enjoy the sights. The Modern World and Jurassic World intersect on Main Street. Get your questions answered at the Visitor Center, step into the Samsung Innovation Center, or grab a burger any of our eight cafes and 12 sit-down restaurants. Plus there's tons of great shopping from sundresses to sunscreen and everything in between. Your Jurassic World adventure is sure to begin and end on Main Street. That's also the street where your hotel is located so you're right in the centre of town. Yeah sure we can have a closer look at the dining areas. Uh, there are restaurants and cafes, as I said, so if you're just fancying a snack or you want a family meal, there's either option. We also have first aid sections around the park, uh, just to be safe, so if you have any minor, minor mishaps or anything like that, you can find one of those easily. Okay, so right in the centre of the island we have our Innovation Centre. And this will introduce you to the world of dinosaurs, whether you're a beginner or an expert on them. There's various activities for the children to do, for example they can dig for dinosaur bones, um, there's the Hammond statue, we have interactive screens throughout the park you can look at and use to find out more about dinosaurs. There's also presentations. So it's very child friendly, you can add your drawing and have it come up on the screen, learn a bit more about the various dinosaurs. So that kind of gets you in the mood for the rest of the day. Now the creation lab is where all the exciting things happen. This is where we actually create and fertilize the dinosaur eggs. Life finds a way with Mr. DNA as your guide. Our scientists are hard at work in the Hammond creation lab, bringing the Jurassic era into the modern era. You'll wonder in delight as complicated genetic codes and prehistoric strands of DNA are crafted into new living creatures right before your eyes. There's our scientists working very diligently there. And you can have opportunities to go and see these different things like the amber and the eggs as well. That's how we splice the DNA. We have some very exciting new developments coming up with uh, some new dinosaurs, etc. Now, 
as well as the dinosaurs, there are some different parts of the park where you can go to relax and enjoy time away from the various reptiles. <laughs> uh, we have a golf course which is 18 holes worth of world-class links. Swing away like an angry ankylosaurus on our famous par 5. Uh, you can have a great time there, there's no need to book, you can just go straight there and enjoy yourself. There will be a couple of dinosaurs roaming the golf course but herbivores, nothing to worry about. We also offer a cruise, a Cretaceous cruise, <laughs> uh, if I can just get to it, there we go, where you can take a trip in a small canoe and enjoy the sights, paddle with the dinosaurs in the pristine river on a Cretaceous cruise <laughs> that will leave you breathless. There's over a hundred species of prehistoric life and you will get a tour guide to tell you everything that's happening. Uh, we do advise that parents take the wheel, so to speak, on these, crew, uh, these kayaks because the water can get a little bit choppy. Some people enjoy the time there. We have botanical gardens if you're interested in the flora and fauna. Now these are some beautiful flowers and leaves that you can see. 2,000 kinds of Jurassic flora. Uh, there's a wild primordial forest never before seen by human eyes, so that's something I would definitely recommend. If you want any break from the dinosaurs at any point, we have our bamboo forest, which is an extremely tranquil part of the park. Find a moment of zen. There's various statuettes and places to hike and just enjoy your time. Uh, this is a place for the younger children. You can play in the aquatic park, uh, splash around, and there's different um, slides and activities that you can do in the park. Everyone enjoys the nice cool down. <laughs> the gondola lift, uh, that can take you around the park as well as the monorail, so if you fancy seeing it from the air like a pterodactyl. <laughs> we also have our egg spinner, which is one of the rides uh, for older or younger children, they will all enjoy it. Fun for the whole family. Now, I'm sure what you're really waiting for are the dinosaurs. So, you can start off gently with the petting zoo. Gentle giant. Enjoy the thrill of getting up close and personal with baby dinosaurs. Located by the visitor centre, the Gentle Giants Petting Zoo lets you see, pet and feed all of your favourite herbivores. Feeling adventurous? Saddle up and ride a tiny triceratops. A good rub under their frill and they'll take you anywhere. Fun for guests of all ages and we do require that you wear helmets for that. You can get there using the monorail, it's just a short walk from the visitor centre anywhere. It's 
it's all very exciting. We do sell the dinosaur food so you can feed them as long as you keep a flat hand, like so, and don't put your fingers in the mouths. <laughs> As well as that, there is a chance to get up close with other dinosaurs using our gyrospheres. Roll your way through the age of the dinosaurs in the world famous gyrosphere. You have to be on the lookout for a lot of different dinosaurs. They may run alongside you and it will be very exciting. Our advanced Invisible fence technology assures the animals will stay in designated zones without unnecessary bars or cages. And if you do end up venturing too close, our automatic system will roll your gyrosphere back to a safe distance. It's suitable for children and adults, so the children can go in it alone if you wish. The controls are very simple, as you can see, you can see all these different herbivores it's one of our most popular attractions so I'd recommend getting there earlier in the day if you want to see everything now our aviary is where our flying dinosaurs like to stay our enclosed dinosaur aviary allows the world's only living to soars to glide above our park guests safely. From their roosts and nests they soar on thermal currents, searching with sharp eyes for prey below. Thankfully, within the aviary, their diet is limited solely to fresh fish from the waters inside the enclosure, though so there's no chance that they're going to fly away with one of your children, however much you ask them. <laughs> Now what about some of our more dangerous animals? We have a T-Rex here in Jurassic World. It's one of our most popular attractions. Venture into the Jurassic-sized viewing area to see the legendary predator in her natural domain. After all, she's been living here for over 25 years. Feedings are scheduled every two hours. Um, we do show the feedings, you can see them through the glass observatory. I wouldn't recommend it for very small children as um, our T-Rex does like to play with her food a little and it can get a little gory. Of course we sell all the merchandise for the T-Rex as well. What about Triceratops? They are a friendlier dinosaur than the T-Rex. Uh, she gets a little antsy, whereas the Triceratops do not. <laughs> Gallimimus Valley is also one of our top destinations. These fast runners can be seen with our Jeeps. You'll delight in these ostrich-like dinosaurs as they navigate the valley looking for delicious vegetation, insects and grubs. It's very exciting when you see a stampede of these, for example. It's extremely entertaining. Uh, we have an underwater observatory where you can see the Mosaurus, sorry, Mosasaurus, <laughs> I always get that one wrong, uh, but you don't swim with it, of course. I don't think she'd be very happy if you jumped in. You can see her feeding, of course, at various times of the day, every two hours, just like the T-Rex. Predator of the Deep will wow you with its massive maw as it gives Jaws his just dessert. Pack a poncho because the Mosasaurus feeding show is one big splash zone. Maybe disturbing for small children again. We do feed her sharks and she does jump out of the water to eat them. 
there she is right there doing her thing so this area here actually moves down after we see her feeding and you can see her underwater after that okay so I've told you the majority of things about the park you can plan how you want to do it of course I'll tell you a bit more about where you can eat uh, Winston's Steakhouse Unleash your inner carnival <laughs> Very good steaks Margaritaville Mike and Ike candy We do like candy here in Jurassic World Because the children enjoy it a lot And we have Ben and Jerry's Nobu We have Starbucks as well um, Cakes Anything you're after We'll have it Your stay in the park is our main priority. We want you to have a comfortable time. So you'll be staying in the luxury hotel where there's a spa, a kids club, fitness center, and of course room service. I've already described some of the things you can do here, for example, the aquatic park, the egg spinner, gondola lift, aviary, uh, the cruise. The underwater observatory is very exciting. Come face to face with the world's only mosasaur in the ultimate underwater tunnel. Just a few inches of glass stand between you and this magnificent predator's gaping jaw. We do have a nightclub as well, if you're interested. Um, I know a lot of people like to do that on their last night. It can be educational, of course, for all the children. So they like to learn about different dinosaurs. We have paleontologists all over the park to give you some more information about them. Take a walk on the wild side with an exclusive twilight tour. When the sun goes down our experienced isla explorers will lead the way as our park's nocturnal creatures start their day with a terrifying roar. That one's not for the smaller children as it is dark and can get a little bit scary but again it is very exciting. Of course we have various gift shops throughout the island where you can buy hats, jewellery, all sorts of things, toys, flip-flops, keepsakes just to show your family and friends. One of our other extremely exciting parts of the park is the Raptor Pass. Um, this is a special pass that you can use to get to different parts of the park without queuing. The raptors are an extremely popular part of our park as they are one of the most dangerous. Here are just some of the ones we have. Here we go, Velociraptor. The attraction is restricted so you have to get a special pass. They're not trained for public display at the moment. And um, our expert Owen is always on hand to keep an eye on them. Velociraptor has curved 15 centimeter razor sharp claws on each hand. And they're one of the smaller dinosaurs. Uh, not to be taken lightly, however. There she is, our T-Rex. Among the largest carnivores to have ever stalked the planet, 
Tyrannosaurus was one fearsome dinosaur. T-Rex fossils have shown tooth marks that could have been made by their own kind, though we've never seen a T-Rex family feud at Jurassic World. And of course, we never mix the dinosaurs, so there's nothing to fear about them fighting or anything like that. Now, we have this option to preserve your memories from the park. various activities and things that you show. Um, our actual island is very beautiful. You can go on zip wires, all sorts of things. There's our cruise, people enjoying the kayaks of course. And although there are queues, which is to be expected, they do move very rapidly and there's always entertainment throughout the time you're queuing. Okay, how about we have a little look at what's going on at the moment. Here is our park camp. just refresh that. It can be a little um, temperamental. <laughs> there we go. So here's some images of the cruise. Oops, that camera is not working for some reason. There's some of our workers working extremely hard. And they do now and then. We'll just skip over that. Oh, another error for some reason. There's the gyrosphere. Not looking very busy at the moment. Uh, the lobby. As you can see, we're jam-packed today. Very busy tourists. And the creation lab, where we create the dinosaur people in queues there. Oh, I'm not really sure what's happening here. Oh, we'll just get past that a little bit. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's probably best if you, oh my word, head to the, um, <laughs> head to the hotel first of all. I would definitely recommend that. Um, we're probably just having a few technical errors. It's always expected in a park of our size. But please do enjoy your time here. Let me know if there's anything at all that you need. Um, and I'll see you when you're ready to start exploring. Thanks. See you soon.